my most requested video for the last year and you've asked for it you've got it and as a special thank you to 1,000 subscribers I'm I'm fulfilling that request I'm doing an updated gaming room tour of my gaming room so here we go right let's get on with the tour a lot of things are fit in so we'll start from the far left and gradually work our way to this point over here. So here we go. Starting over here, we have my Street Fighter 4 Tournament Edition arcade stick. It's been modified, it's got heart push buttons, and it's got a back top set of ball top with an odd gun strip plate, so it makes doing the hard dukins and the fireballs a lot easier. Right, there's my printer, but more importantly, underneath it is my storage boxes. Now these contain all my cables, power leads, data cables, pretty much you name it, it's in there. Now when I got this it was in a bit of a state. I cleaned it up, tied it up a little bit, and even modded it to play imports. My NES, absolutely love this system. It's really great for connect collecting for. Okay, my sound system, my PS3, router, my Drobo. Now this thing's upgraded to to have about three terabytes. I'm planning to put about four terabytes in later this year. My Xbox 360 with a 250 gig hard drive with a special fan to keep it cool. Right, and my computer. It's got four gigs of RAM, it's got 380 something uh, GDDR graphics memory. It's got, a dual, it's got an Intel dual core processor running at two gigahertz. And that's where I edit my videos. And recently I just added a Blu-ray burner to it, so I can basically back up projects, raw footage, and even archiving my masters. Right, my Sony Brava, 40 inch, awesome TV, I love it. My Wii and GameCube, some controllers and a turntable. Right, and over here, some consoles. My Dreamcast, my Sega Saturn. Now this thing's pimped out a little bit because it's got the Action Replay all-in-one cartridge with the four megabit, one megabit RAM. It's got the memory for saving your games, cheap facilities, and even play imports. And my pimped out Mega Drive with the Mega CD attachment, Master System Converter with the wireless adapter for use, with the wireless controllers. Okay, my chip PS1. This is mainly so I can play imports and even play police notes as well, so you need a chip machine. Near Geo AES, awesome system. N64. And my Japanese SNES with this doctor. Now this doctor, the whole system was an impulse buy and it came with these, I'll show you. Yeah, that's a lot of games. Mainly Japanese, but yeah, you get the idea. Some games are backed onto about three floppies. I mean, it's a handy way to store a lot of games, but any of the really big games or any of the games with the special cartridges, it can't copy them. So. Okay. And down below, various controllers. Got a kind of faulty Mega Drive. Plug and play Space Invaders, random controllers, and random stuff there. PS1 games, got some imported PS1 games, PS2, got a few PS3 games, and my NES collection, which is vastly growing. It's really good fun collecting for it. My Mega Drive collection, Sega CD games. Game Gear, Mars System, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, N64, 
We've got some PSP games. Now, all this is basically where I archive my footage. I've got raw footage, I've got my videos rendered in the highest quality, mastered onto Blu-rays, and everything is double backed up onto this hard drive. So that way, if one of these, let's say, needs rebacking up or breaks down, basically it's in two places, so I'm pretty much sorted. My Batman mask, my clapper, which is handy for syncing up audio and video, because when I film my videos, I actually do the audio and video separately. It's more work, but it gives you really good audio. My game gear, which is slightly faulty and the screen isn't really bright. My GP2X Wiz, my Game Boy, my Game Boy Color. Right, and the bulk of my game collection. Now, I wouldn't call myself a massive game collector, but the two systems I extensively collect for is the Dreamcast and the Sega Saturn. Even got a few imported Sega Saturn games and imported Dreamcast games. The, ne the Neo Geo AES. Now, these games are hard to come by. I mean, this is pretty much all the games I could get for under 30 quid, and it isn't that many. The box ones, I don't think I, don't think I paid any more than like £25. And these loose ones, I paid about between 15 to 10 pounds each. And my Xbox 360 games. Got some Wii, GameCube, a few PC games, and more Wii. So there you have it. That is the bulk of my game and room tool slash collection. So that was my game and room. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it informative and basically this is where I play my games, it's where my consoles, my games live and it's where I spend a lot of my free time. So I just want to thank once again everyone for subscribing and this is your last opportunity to leave any questions for my Q&A. Just leave a question down below and provided it's in good taste I will answer it and I'll add up all the questions from this video, my shout outs, my 100 subscriber special video and I will answer all of them end of this week. So I want to thank you for watching and see you later.